Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our March 2021 tarot reading, and this will be for the sign of Capricorn. As I shuffle the deck, asking all lightnings, angels, and God, please relay the message you need to share with my viewers, the highest good of all. The beginning of the month, I'll take a card from the top. Middle of the month, I'll take a card from the center. And the end of the month, I'll take a card from the bottom. And we're using the traditional manga tarot. And again, this will be for sun, moon, and rising Capricorn. So let's see what we have at the beginning of the month, Capricorn. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so you're going to be putting in some work on something maybe here. The Knights bring action and activity in the beginning of the month. So this Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight of all the knights. However, he does make it to the finish line. He does uh, do his work correctly, okay? It may take him a while uh, to reach his goal, but he's going to get results for his effort. So if you've been working on something, wanting to see some type of progress, you're going to be seeing that in the beginning of March, okay? This night also brings in work, okay? Maybe some of you have been looking for a job or maybe improving your finances somehow. You know, he brings in money, he brings in love. Whatever it is, you're finally going to see the results for your efforts in the beginning of the month, okay? And it means that something, you know, that you've been waiting for is finally going to come through. Like I said, that this night takes a while to reach his destination, but he definitely gets there, okay? So if you have a situation that you have methodically developed and patiently waited for, and is yet to see no results, you're going to find these results forthcoming finally with this night at the beginning of the month. And then in the middle of the month, we have the Page of Pentacles. Wow, a lot of earthy energy, and how appropriate for Capricorn, because Capricorn, of course, is an earth sign. So we have the Page of Pentacles coming in in the middle of the month. And the pages usually bring messages to us, okay? And this Page of Pentacles... Uh, could be bringing in a message of, you know, something to do with your finances. He could be bringing in a message regarding, you know, maybe some kind of academic studies you've been doing. Maybe you're finally going to be uh, getting your certificate for something or maybe a degree for something. Okay, maybe this is going to be news about you getting funding or some type of financial assistance. Whatever it is, it's going to be news of a welcome change in the middle of the month possibly to do, like I said, with your finances or maybe something academically. And then at the end of the month, we have the Five of Wands. And, you know, when we see this card, we see these people battling, okay? And they all have their wands in the air and they're all facing each other. And the Five of Wands is some type of conflict at the end of the month, okay? And it's part of life. This could be some petty squabbling with someone, Okay, it could be some type of competition where someone's competing with you. Okay, so whatever this is, it you know, to be forewarned is to be forearmed at the end of the month. This could be someone with a difference of opinion, you know, that you're going to be facing at the end of the month. However, you know, this could get out of hand and drain your energy. Okay, so you want to be aware of someone maybe pushing your buttons, someone trying to drag you into this, you know, this chaos and this drama at the end of the month. Okay, so you don't want to, you know, give in to this type of energy at the end of the month. And you want to make sure that, you know, if people are trying to argue with you, sometimes you just have to agree to disagree. But whatever it is, you know, just be aware of it. Because we, we all encounter this at one point or another in our life. And this petty nonsense could easily get out of hand unless you put an end to it. So whatever it is, don't fan the fire. <laughs> don't fan the flames of whatever could be going on at the end of the month. Just sometimes it's best to agree to disagree or just basically, you know, walk away. Don't, don't get dragged into whatever this drama or chaos is at the end of the month. What an interesting month for you. If you've enjoyed this reading, please like it by giving it a thumbs up, share it, and above all, subscribe because I will be back with more.